adjectivi comparativi, or comparative adjectives. In English, when we describe something using an adjective, we can say things like the happy boy, but we can also say happier or more happy, something like that. Um, in English, two ways that we do this, either by sticking on er onto the adjective, or sometimes we use the word more separately. In Latin, there are two endings we use for this, ior, and for neuter nouns, ios. As an example, our English adjective happy becomes happier. Laitos, the Latin adjective, if it's masculine, laitos becomes laitior. Laita, feminine, also becomes laitior. And then laitum, the neuter form, becomes laitios. So it's only in the neuter that you'll see that ios form. Similarly, another adjective, beautiful. Here, this one in English, we don't say beautiful or we say more beautiful. Uh, but in Latin, we use the same process using these endings of ior or ios. So pulcher, the masculine, becomes pulcrior. Pulcra, the feminine, becomes pulcrior. And pulcrum, the neuter, becomes pulcrios. Notice with this adjective how this is one of these ones with an R instead of an os in the masculine nominative singular. Um, and that E will disappear in all of our other forms. It only ever appears there. And the way that we can tell is that when you get this adjective, you'll see it listed as pulcher, pulcra, pulcrum. So the E disappears in the other forms. So anytime that we add any kind of ending on there, including these ones, that E will disappear. Let's talk a little bit about how to use these. In English, we often say happier than somebody else. Um, in Latin, we'll use quam for that. Also, these are third declension adjectives. So we'll say puer laitior, pueri laitioris, of the happier boy, puero laitiori, two or four of the happier boy, puerum laitiorem, etc. So notice there that even though puer is a second declension noun, using those second declension masculine endings, laitior is going to use third declension endings. Let's look at some examples. Sacus ursi lewis est. Sacus Leandri Grauis est. Here's one way that we've seen a similar idea expressed before. Sacus Leandri non est tam lewis quam sacus ursi. It is not as light as Ursus's bag. We could also express this using a comparative adjective. Sacus ursi levior est quam sacus Leandri. It's lighter than Leander's bag. Hasta longa est, gladius brevis est. Using tam and quam, we could say gladius non est tam longus quam hasta. And using a comparative, we could say hasta longior quam gladius est. Pilum est lewe, scutum est graue. Pilum non tam graue est quam scutum. And then again, using a comparative here, uh, and this time, because scutum is neuter, we'll have scutum grauios est quam pilo. So again, it's only with the neuter that we see this eos form. And the other ones, we use eor, quam to say then. And notice also that after that quam, the thing that it's heavier than, because this is nominative, the thing that it's heavier than is also going to go into nominative. So sacos levior quam sacos hasta longior quam gladios. Scutum gravius quam pilum. A second topic we're introducing is verba cum casu dativo. And normally in Latin, when we're doing something to a person or a thing, uh, that noun goes into the casus accusativus. Marcus Juliam posat, or miles gladium fert. However, there are some Latin verbs where instead of using the casus accusativus, we'll use the casus dativus. And there are two that you need to be aware of right now. There are others that we'll learn later. And these two are impero imperare, to command, and pareo parere, to obey. Notice both of these in the listing that I've given you, I've added their plus dative, um, indicating that this is the case that they'll use instead of the accusativus. Let's look at some examples. Julius, mede veni. Cui Julius imperat. Julius medo imperat. Notice there, Julius medo imperat, not medum, because we need medos to go into the dative. And also cui here, 
That's the dative of quis, who. So, cui Julius imperat, he gives orders to whom? Julius medo imperat. Medus paret et venit. Cui medus paret? Julio medus paret. Again, the same situation there with cui in the dative. Whom does he obey? Julio. Sura. Abite pueri molesti. Quibus sura imperat. Pueris sura imperat. And there we used quibus instead of cui because quibus is the dative plural because she's talking to the pueri molesti. Pueri autem non abeunt sed manent. Parent ne pueri? Pueri surai non parent. And again, there are surai in casu dativo because that is the case that parere will use.